guy, he's, cr he's crazy, this man's fueled by fire. He needs to touch the cross, he's got to do a blessing, bless him. Oh, <laughs> the the jump. Hello and uh, welcome to another video. Um, I'm still in Dartmoor at the moment. If you've seen the last couple of videos, um, you'd have noticed I was in Dartmoor. And uh, yeah, we're still here. Gonna head off tomorrow morning, um, going to a place called Black Church Rock. So this could be tagged on to that one. Um, we'll use this as a start maybe and that to finish. Otherwise I get that many videos, I can't keep up with showing you the places and Take you on me adventures. Adventures. Um, we are at another location, another tour, and this is Win Brat Tour. Brat Tour. Widgery Cross. Oh, Brat Tour, Widgery Cross. So we're going up there. Yep, that looks quite a hill, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, that's the direction we're heading in. Got Simon and the family. They're up that way. Simon's here. Good lady sees back there. And uh, look at this chap here. Look at that. Does anyone recognize that silly old bugger? <laughs> it's all oh, what? Hang on, it's, it's, it sticks at dawn. <laughs> we've got here, we've got here, this famous vlogger, <laughs> this famous, hey, you watched Thomas Eaton's one, he said you bash these things around and they break in half. Who? Who? Who the hell is Thomas Eaton? Thomas Eaton. Um, <laughs> Is he that there? Um, is he that he there? Started, look, he money? started. He started. All he, all I said was that old bugger. This is the elusive and famous Mr. Podgy Snapper. Now, if you haven't seen his vlogs, I'm not surprised. They're crap. They so are. don't bother. They are. <laughs> no, Why? get out. Check him out. They are really, check him out really because if rubbish. you if you want wit and you want some nice, simple locations to get to, I'm not this, is, stand for that. this is this. <laughs> This I'll is stand up for no, you. I'm quite this happy is, to this think of Paul Pratt here. It's all right, see when he goes to sleep tonight, he's gonna get it. This, I'm getting ganged up on picked up on now, picked up on picked on, picked on. Let's go a bit and the wider. The other nice gentleman is very quiet and subdued because he can't get a word him, in. Him, he can't get a word in edgeways. Apparently, that Paul Compton fella never shuts up. Paul, who? <laughs> Paul Johnson, Paul Johnson, <laughs> Paul Johnson, Pratt. No, Paul Johnson, my name, never shut up. Um, G. Johnson. G. Johnson. Don't, we're going to bring down the whole of YouTube. Sorry, guys, <laughs> we're only messing. Right, we're going up that mountain. No, we're not. We're going up that tour, that hill. And uh, yeah, I'll see you probably on the way, to be honest. So uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Get your camera at Paul. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Pat, mine, Pat. Oh. Anybody want a frisbee? <laughs> Don't play with the pats. <laughs> it's a we bit used warm. To play frisbee. We're gonna kids. Frisbee? Yeah. Oh, I just told you. He was the dry when, one. When they dried right up, it was always a bit, weird, up, a bit weird. wet on the underside. We're getting and a bit closer now. We're just starting to get down to the, foot, get them up, the bottom of the level like that, grass, and we're trying to make a choice now whether to go straight up the steep bit or whether to head up the slightly easier bit. So uh, I think we might go the interesting steep bit. Oh. This would be interesting. We've got to cross a river. <laughs> oh. Pumba. Wow, the hidden secrets of how the hell we get there sort of syndrome. This is steep now. It's starting to get really steep. But the steeper we get, the closer we're getting. So yeah, these are little bits, as I've mentioned before, that you don't see and the sweat and the grime 
just to get to have a look at these locations. Now I know I'm a bit out of fitness and I've got to do a bit more walking I think. Spend a little less time on the computer at night. But it's got to be an easier way than this. Maybe a sure new accustomment. I don't know where to film that last bit again. I had it zoomed in, so I bet you were looking at my nostrils. But I was just saying how hard it is to get up to these places. I'm not fit. You're 19! <laughs> Getting shouted at you. Yeah, these are, this is steep. But it'll be worth it in the end. I can do it. You've been sat there for 10 minutes waiting for us. It's making us look silly though. <laughs> Go on, get running. Right, I can't walk and talk and video and whatever. This might not make entertaining viewing, but it's definitely making my heart rate raise. Simon's just checked his heart rate, 135? 135. 135. Mine's gotta be at least that. <laughs> but we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Thank God. Right. Hope you enjoyed that bit of watching me get in pain. Scrambling up this. Feels like a mountain. Thought 433 meters. 435 meters. Which is something, something like half a Scarfell pike, isn't it? So, yeah, pretty good. But we're here. So now I need to stop, chill, recompose, have a drink, and find something to take a photograph of. Wow. Nice view, huh? Come on. As you see, I've just touched the cross, so we made it. <laughs> Good old Draven here. He wants to be me video man. He's got a lot to learn. <laughs> no, he's, oh, he's, it's good, you made it easy. You made that look easy. I did, because of my age. Because of your age, yeah, age and fitness. Right, Denise and Podgy, sorry, I wasn't talking to them, are still down there. They are making their way up. Um, and it's windy up here and we could get mullered in a bit because there's some seriously seriously gray dark looking crowds up here so we could get absolutely pasted but uh, i think it'll be fun but there's some thick black clouds so i'm just going to check in with the wife i'm going to wait for her so i can get her visibility on her and uh, definitely sort out a photograph while he's jumping all over these rocks. And don't go showing off in front of the camera because you get hurt. He's like a mountain goat. Well, I have got to say, the good old podgy snapper's made it up. Good on him. 
that is just a testament to anyone that is lacking in the fitness area slightly he's drummed on and he's made his way up he's about to peer in this little gap down here wherever it is just down here he's gonna pop his head through there probably um, but yeah he's made it up here. I've got the camera set up anyway um, really proud of him well done him uh, I'm gonna go over and say hello in a minute there he is there he is look he's made it look 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 there he is look what a bloody champion <laughs> what a champion right now anyway I can hope you can hear me because the wind is coming sideways across this uh, this mic this muff um, basically camera set up on a vertical um, you cannot take anything other than a vertical from here it's fantastic you've got the, the cross <laughs> the cross thing yeah I've got the cross up on the top of the rock standing tall and proud you can't quite see a cross shape from this angle but I just love this angle um, I've got these lovely rocks down here in the foreground these lovely leading lines and then through the gap in the rocks there you've got this cracking view that goes off into the distance Podgy, what are you doing? You be careful. He's climbing. Look, he's climbing. Shut up. He's going to get in trouble in a minute. <laughs> good man. Good man. You're not going up to the top, are you? If you are, come round this side. God, he's, cr he's crazy. This man's fueled by fire. He needs to touch the cross. He's got to do a blessing. Bless him. <laughs> he has, yep. He's done, he's done Scarfell Pike. He's done Snowden. No, not so quite done Snowden. He's done done a big chunk of Snowden. So yeah, he's not he's not letting these give him out. He's done the <laughs> He's done the doctor's surgery a few times. <laughs> Going for an oil change next week, bless him. No, he's he's a fighting man, I tell you, you won't keep this guy down at all. He's brilliant. So please do check his vlogs out, it's well worth it. Your bag's open, Podge. Yeah, I was hoping you'd put something in there Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't lose anything. It's getting wider and wider. Anyway, back to this image. I'm ever so sorry. I'm ever so sorry. Back to this image. Yeah, rocks in the foreground, leading lines, um, cross up on the top thirds. Big, big, big grey, moody sky. The gap in the middle showing you the height we are and showing you how much elevation we got. Um, yeah, cracking little shot. Really, really nice. Beautiful texture in the stonework. And look at him. Look, he's still going. He's still going. He is going to make it up there. He's going to make it up there. I'm going to keep this camera rolling. Come on, Podge. Look at this, look at this. Anyone out there that says I can't do it, but all. He's not stopping, he's going to the top. He's going to the top. Yeah, go on, keep going. <laughs> Absolute champion, well done Podgers. Good man, good man. <laughs> right, I'm going to switch you off and take some photos. Enjoy these couple. Wife's turned up. She's made it up. Here she is. She's down. She's down there somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere down there. So she's up. So we're all together again, which is good. Um, I've just taken a shot of uh, Draven jumping over the gap in between. It looks pretty cool. So I'm going to show you that one as well as the one without. Just a little bit of something to add to the uh, image, just to give it a bit of scale and depth to the image. It's pretty cool to be honest. Um, but I've flipped the camera over to a horizontal position now. Um, so I can get a slightly wider shot. Simon's been down in front of it getting probably the shape of the cross and everything. So I'm going to have a move around now. There's several compositions I would have thought. Um, but I just like this, this one from where I am at the moment. So I've taken another one across on a horizontal to go with a vertical image. Um, yeah, all in all, pretty good. So now I'm going to go for a bit of a walk around, see if we can find something a bit more interesting. The only problem I've got is I've come up here with my little tiny tripod, my little vlogging tripod. I didn't bring the big one up, so I don't trust it. And it's a little bit wiggly so it's a case of holding it and i've upped my iso to 250 just to get a little bit more speed on the old shutter button so uh, yeah we have to be a bit careful with this one and see how well we do with it but it's not to be trusted and left on its own i've actually got my foot on the top of the, on the tripod to stop it from falling so yeah 
don't trust them if they're not strong and heavy. So right, let's go off and uh, have a walk. Possibly something down there. There's a nice big boulder there giving you a bit of a, a line to lead you up through, coming up through to the cross. Um, and there'll definitely be a shot from the other side. So let's have a look and see what we can find. one set up and uh, as if you as if you didn't know already but uh, our podgy snapper is also another Fuji Fuji shooter um, I mentioned in my last video that after my 50th um, birthday treat that Denise did at man man tour for us which I've got a video I'll pop a link up for you um, after that one shooting on the first time I was using the XT3 properly Simon went home and replaced his Nikon stuff with an XT3 or Owen went home got rid of his Canon gear got himself an XT3 and uh, Dave Podgy, he said to me, he said, what do you think of them? I said, they're all right. They're not a bad little camera. Got rid of his Canon and he got an XD3. So he's, there's three of the four people that changed in a week. So uh, yeah, not doing too bad, are they, old Fuji? Um, loving it, to be honest, though. Really am loving it. It's really, really easy to use. Very, very nice. Um, just makes photography simple, to be honest. And it's not about the gear. Um, I was talking to Draven earlier on, he said he's got a camera, he likes photography, but his camera's not as good as us professional ones. Well, we're not professionals, we're just over-enthusiastic amateurs, if you like. Um, over over enthusiastic amateurs, should I say. Um, but yeah, I've got some good gear. Um, I'm not going to lie, I've got some really expensive gear. But that doesn't make you a good photographer. Getting out, taking the photographs, walking and doing these sort of things makes, you know, gives you more chance of being a photographer. And, you know, so it's not the gear, what you've got. It's, it's the getting up, the getting out, the going out, looking and finding and doing, really. So it doesn't matter what you use or what, what level or what stage of camera it is. Um, but yeah, I do love the X-T3. And over my 5D Mark IV, this is going to get used more and more and more. I'm sorry, Canon guys, but it's just so easy to use. It really is. And the colours are so, so nice. Um, anyway, I've taken another shot. I'm down here. I've got all these lovely lines um, all the way through these rocks. Absolutely stunning. The cross is now looking like a cross up there on the top, standing proud in amongst all that grey cloudiness. Um, yeah, just a lovely simple shot. But you can see the tour. I've tried to frame the tour from the little gap there right the way over to the gap that side. So I'm trying to frame it to sort of fit in between the in the actual frame itself. And my camera's gone to sleep. So yeah, and I've also got this one. Sorry, I've got that one in there as well. Uh, this this one down there, just to finish the edge of the frame. Um, but yeah, no, it's all right. It's pretty good, pretty good. But it's got to be better. There's got to be better. There's got to be something a little bit more unique. Um, I don't quite know where though. I'll, I'll have a look. We're back again. And it's uh, the wind's dropped a little bit, which is quite nice. I can stop shouting, maybe. Um, I've climbed up on this rock, uh, which seemed like a good idea at the time. Um, it seemed like a really good idea at the time. But climbing up is very easy. But I've got a bag on my back, and I've got my tripod, which I'm going to, have to chuck back down on the grass. And going down is not as easy as coming up. So I have these great ideas sometimes, and then don't think of the consequences. But anyway, I've got my shot set up. And again, it's another nice one. Uh, me and Simon were just saying there's a lot of shots here really quite easy to take a good photograph of this But it wants a little bit of something to just make it yours um, It's very moody. I absolutely adore this cloud like this clouds so gray and thick and thundery. It's a fantastic um, But there's just nothing on the cross. There's no light. There's no anything um, I can try and bit of dodging and burning and something like that you know we've got some nice little um green mosses and things you know so yeah we can have something to play with but there's nothing actually hitting the cross that gives it any wow factor really um it's going to be a case of post-processing if we can but this is me shot um i'm not sure if i like this one or the one i took from over there but this to me works really really well um, i'm going to talk about the thirds again and again on this image i will lay out the third lines for you so i can show you what it is we're talking about because um, we keep mentioning the thirds upper thirds lower thirds and stuff like that and i always like to give a bit of a hint or a tip um, if you've watched me before then you, sorry let's just put up with me repeating myself because we do get new subscribers and new people watching all the time and we try and help out everyone we can so rule of thirds 
we've got the rule of thirds. We've got a line down here where the cross, let's have a look. We've got a line down there where the cross is. We've got a line that comes across there where the cross is. And then we've got this, all this lot there leading out to that. Um, really quite a nice shot. Um, on the back of the camera, it looks really cool. And you, you, the low cloud cover is really thick. It's causing a really thick, dark stripe through the image. And I'm hoping I can bring out all that texture in that. It really is stunning. I've bracketed the shot because there's a lot of dark down here um, in the rocks and there's a lot of lights up in the up in the clouds. So I've bracketed, I've done a five bracket exposure, which is basically one over and one under with steps of thirds between, um, just to give me that dynamic range if I need it. Uh, again, I'll try and put it in the XF data for you so you can see what I've done with the image. Um, base image is F8, ISO 160, because the wind's dropped a little bit, so I can trust this tripod not to wiggle around too much. Um, and we're shooting at about 60 of a second is your base shot, and then you've got stop cyber you know up and above so yeah i think that one's pretty pretty nice beautiful lines like the greens love the moody clouds it fits on the thirds and geometrically correct aesthetically suppose so to speak so yeah should be quite a nice little shot when it's processed so uh yeah there's another one for you and look mrs c is donning the camera so she's out shooting handheld because she didn't want to bring a tripod up here which i don't blame her because it was a long walk so right there's three and a half minutes worth of chops in Shut up, move on, find something else to shoot. Back in a little while. sun's coming out it's gonna get some light on it can I just ask you two lovely young people just to move over that way please yeah. just a little bit I'm now I've kicked me tripod <laughs> get out of the way you <laughs> that's fantastic so you've got to be told got to tell these people to get out your images that's all right it's only lady C mrs. C otherwise she gonna give me a good kick in. I'm just taking a picture of her up with a tour with Draven as well. So uh, yeah, that's another one for her little portfolio. This tripod really is flimsy. I keep knocking it. Um, right, what are we doing? What are we doing, what are we doing? The light's trying to pop out. It's actually casting a bit more light now onto the actual tour. Um, I've come in front of the cross and I've got these nice uh, big boulders down here in front of us with this bit of a sweeping line coming through. Um, which should stand out quite nicely, which is just there, and it just throws you up towards the cross. The cross is quite central, but still over towards the right-hand third line. Um, I just think it's a nice balanced image, and I'm bracketing ISO 250 um, at f/8, just because I can. Um, no, just because I want to speed the shutter speed up a little bit um, because it's on this tripod. But it is a really nice light. And again, this Fuji really does bring out the details in the rocks. It's fantastic. I can. I can. Yeah, I'm not going to say anymore. It's just really nice. Right, I think I'm nearly done here. Um, I think we're going to have to make our way back down anyway. The car is quite some way down there. Uh, where are we? Somewhere at the end of that little line down there. So the car's right down that way. So it's going to take us a fair while to walk down. Uh, Podgy and Audrey have started walking down. They've gone down the shorter, the slower route, um, which I think we might take a walk around that way, just in case there's a composition to be had from around there. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to say thank you for watching this uh, crazily short one, and I'll probably put it out on its own. I know I said at the beginning I'll back it on tomorrow's, but no, I won't. I'll do tomorrow's as tomorrow. I'll finish this one now. We're going to go for some tea tonight. I'm going to put the camera away. No more vlogging, no more camera for this afternoon. And uh, yeah, just probably enjoy myself. Get something nice to eat tonight, have another nice night in the van. And yeah, I'm quite enjoying this. It's quite nice. It's a, it's a big place. Dartmoor is a big place. There's an awful lot to see, but I think I've seen a, a little bit of a snippet of it and I've managed to bring a bit to you as well. So I hope you've enjoyed these little bits from Dartmoor. We'll see you somewhere tomorrow, Northish, at this uh, location we're making our way to. So yeah, I'm going to shut up. And from them over there, hopefully goodbye. And from me, 
I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now. Please don't forget, leave us some comments below. Let us know what you think of this. Am I still crazy and nuts? Are you getting any hints and tips? Is there anything you'd like to know? Like the parking, for instance. The parking, it's down there. We're parked in the car park and it's a walk. There's not much hill, you, there's no rocks to climb over as such, but it's a long walk and it's pretty steep. Um, but yeah, if Dave can do it, Podgy can do it, then come on guys, you can do it too. So get your camera, get out and shoot. Till next time, ciao. Right there, you know. <laughs> he looks like the bloody child catcher. Simon, that's that's pretty.